Many times when we see celebrities, we view them as these perfect specimens. The truth is that a lot of them have had plastic surgery or some type of work done to reach that look that they now have. More often than not, I find myself repeating the phrase, I'm not ugly, I'm just broke. I'm not ugly, I'm just broke. However, today's story will make you feel a little bit better about yourself. Although before we jump into that, I need you guys to tap that like button to show some love to the channel. And with that out of the way, let's just get right into it. For those of you who don't know who Michaela Romanini is, allow me to give you some background history first. Michaela is about as famous in Italy as Paris Hilton is in the United States. For years, she has been known as an Italian socialite, and from a young age, she has been experimenting with plastic surgery. Sadly, once it started, she just couldn't stop and would end up getting herself deeper and deeper into the world of cosmetic surgery. She was once a very attractive young woman, but an obsession with lip injections has drastically altered her appearance over the years. By far, her favorite procedure has been lip collagen injections. Eventually, these would become like a drug to her as she would continue to get them until her lips had completely morphed into something else altogether. According to reports online, her plastic surgery journey started at the age of 19. Adding to her plumped up and completely oversized lip injections, Michaela would also indulge in tons of Botox. This was meant to smooth out every possible wrinkle with the hope that she would be left with a shiny, expressionless forehead. Although, for some reason, all the multiple injections did was begin this transformation to a more masculine looking face. From photos, it appears as though she may have had some type of rhinoplasty done as well. This pulling back of the nose and tightening on her cheeks could be what's adding to that more masculine appearing look that she now has. Her eyebrows also seem to add to that more masculine looking appearance too. Compared to previous photos, her new eyebrows look like they either have been tattooed or received hair transplants. They just look much more pronounced than ever before. We can't fault her too much though for continuing to change her looks. As I mentioned earlier, she was once considered to be one of the most beautiful women in Italy. She was even respected for her looks, although perhaps wanting to too much of something makes it all the more dangerous. I'm sure at times she just didn't know when to stop receiving surgeries. The sad truth about botched plastic surgeries is that Michaela isn't alone on this front. Many celebrities have used their enormous wealth to drastically change their looks, and while some have succeeded in this bizarre venture, others have certainly taken it too far. However, once you've already invested in one surgery, I can see how easy it would become to rationalize the next one. Especially if your plastic surgeon is sitting there telling you what's wrong with your face, that's bound to make even the most confident celebrities a little bit insecure. Cure. I've heard about scenarios like that time and time again, where a person goes into an office to get one thing done, and then before they know it, they've been swindled into 10 other surgeries. I mean, look at what happened with Michael Jackson, Mickey Rourke, and Heidi Montag. Heidi especially is very sad. She just wanted to make it in Hollywood, so when her surgeon started listing her imperfections, it obviously made her cave to adding more than she bargained for. I imagine this is the same situation that was going on with Michaela. Michael Jackson is another great example of this. He had one nose surgery, and then another, and then another and it probably had nothing to do with getting the perfect nose, but rather a botched surgery the first time that just needed to constantly be corrected. I truly hope that as time goes on, people will start to learn that Hollywood is truly all smoke and mirrors. Most of what you're seeing isn't real, and nine times out of ten, the celebrity that you're jealous of has had work done. That doesn't mean that you should get work done, it means that this person is also extremely insecure and just had the money available to try and patch up that hole they feel inside of them. The truth is, no number of plastic surgeries will change your insecurities. Change has to start within, and really what most people need to do is find a way to love themselves. I bet if more celebrities didn't hate who they were, they wouldn't feel such a pull to try and completely change their appearance. If you like yourself, why would you want to look like someone else? With that though, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled, The Real Reason Hollywood Won't Cast Amber Heard. And like US says, unlike others where the situation turned out to be true, Turd really has done more harm to herself than she knows. No one really knew who she was before Johnny, and no one will really miss her after. Sadly, I think you're exactly right with that one. Megan O'Shea says, I never knew who Amber Heard was until she got with Johnny Depp. When she was in the Rum Diaries, she ruined that movie and any other movies after that. Rum Diaries came out a long time ago, so I don't remember the full film exactly, but that being said, I also forgot that Amber Heard was in that, and then when I looked it up, I was like, oh yeah, she did that, that's how she met him. But yeah, she ruined it. Amanda Lay says, it's about time more people bring this up. I'm not going to watch anything she plays in. I think it's been brought up plenty, but uh, yeah, I'm sure there's, we're gonna see the outpouring of people, or I guess lack thereof, to her movies with all of this stuff on YouTube and on the news. More and more people are siding with Johnny Depp on this one. Lumen Pierce says, she's a terrible actress. There's no good reason to cast her in anything. I'm sure she's a good actress, but I just think that her public persona Makes it a little too risky to put her in anything. Sleepy Hollow says, Warner Bros are picking favorites. Sure seems like it. 
James Frazier says, Amber Heard needs to be in jail, but she will never end up there. They will never find her guilty no matter what she does. Also, love the t-shirt, Johnny. Venom is amazing. Venom truly is amazing. And don't count the court system out yet. We still have tons of time left and these court documents are constantly coming out day after day and new information is coming out. So who knows, maybe uh, Amber Heard in jail by 2021? I don't want to place bets, but. Sherry Bitten says, Amber isn't even a good liar. She changes her narrative so much she can't even remember what she said. Yeah, that really bugged me too. That she constantly came out with one story and then as time went on, like I just previously said, more information came out and then the story changed again. So, like I said, we'll see where this one goes. Diamond Knight 76 says, I don't know how Hollywood actually not hiring Scamber anymore, but good riddance. I like that you said scammer. I haven't heard that one before. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy. <laughs> Especially if you're plastic surgeon, surgeon. <laughs> Especially if you're plastic surgeon, surgeon. There it is. I had a burp ruin. Sorry. <clears throat> Not even on IO today. I imagine this is the same situation that was going on with Michael, or Michaela.